Hi guys, it's Ben Heath, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Google Ads account. If you've never run Google Ads before, you've never run a Google Ad campaign, then you're going to need to set up a Google Ads account. You can also use the process I'm about to show you to set up a new Google Ads account if you've already got one, but for some reason want to create another and aren't familiar with the process. So it's quite straightforward to do once you know how, one of those things that can be a little bit complicated if you've not been through it before. So once you've been through this video, you should find it a lot easier to actually go through the process. So the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're signed into your Google account. So if you've got a Gmail, then just make sure you're signed into your Gmail on that particular browser. You have a Google account if you've got a Gmail. There's also a good chance you have a Google account even if you don't use Gmail because lots of things are related to Google nowadays like YouTube, etc, etc. So you, if you've got a Google account of any sort, make sure you're signed in. If not, then you're going to need to, to create one um, in order to create a Google Ads account specifically. Once you're signed in, come through to this page, which is ads.google.com forward slash home. And from here, we can go through the process. Just before we do that, I want to quickly mention that Google has some pretty good introductory offers most of the time. So you can see up here that we've got to help you get started with Google Ads, we'll give you £400 in free ad credit when you spend £400. That's a pretty nice introductory offer. They've had this offer for a long time. The offers do vary a bit depending on country. Different countries get different amounts, um, but that's pretty good. Certainly helps you as a new Google advertiser. So just something to be aware of. That's a nice little bonus if you're thinking about starting Google ad campaigns. Okay, next thing we wanna do is go ahead and click on start now. Now, obviously because my business is a digital advertising agency and we have client Google ad accounts and we have manager Google ad accounts and stuff, there's things in here that there probably won't be for you. That's absolutely fine. What I'm gonna do in this video to show you how, to, how this works is click on new Google Ads account, and that's what I'd like you to do as well. Okay, so you may or may not see this page as going through the process. Basically what's happening is because associated with this Google account, we've got um, other information about our business. We've got what's called a business profile. Google is asking if we want to use information from that business profile and pull it into our Google Ads account, which is just gonna make things a bit easier. It's gonna bring through, you know, business name and address and all that sort of stuff. Um, this is actually demonstrated here as one of our clients. We've got a drop down of a number of those. That's not what we want to do. If you've got this, absolutely you want to go ahead and yes, use info for this business profile and then click next because that's going to save you time. If you don't have this, that's also absolutely fine. Um, you can just go through, you'll be taken through automatically to the next stage. Um, I'm going to click no, don't use this info and go through as if we don't. Okay, so next thing we need to do is pop in our business name in here. Fairly straightforward and click next. Then we need to put in a link to our website. Where are people going to be sent after they click on your ad? So I'm just going to pop in our URL in there and click next. Then Google's gonna take a second to scan our website, learn about the business, and they're gonna come through to this page and just sort of show you um, a page on your website that you've popped in. They're gonna show you it mobile preview, desktop preview, and actually the information that they got by scanning your website is going to be used in a minute. We'll, we'll see that process as we go through. So that's all fine. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. Then we need to select our main advertising goal. Now it's important that this is main advertising goal. You can obviously optimize for some of these other things as well. For example, you may want calls, you may also want leads via your website, you may also want people to visit your physical location. So that's all absolutely fine, but this is just the primary one that you want to go with. So if I use my business as an example, we would want leads via our website. That would be our primary, our main advertising goal. So just go ahead and select whichever one is most appropriate for you and then click next. Again, this is a page that you may or may not see. Basically, Google has worked out that Google Analytics is installed on my website and they're asking if I want to connect the two, which is definitely something I recommend. Firstly, I'd strongly recommend you do set up Google Analytics on your website if you don't already have that. Um, it's free, it's really useful, no reason not to do it. And linking Google Analytics to your Google Ads account is also a no-brainer. Data gets pulled from one to the other and back and forth, which just makes life easier. It means your Google Ad account has more information and can get you better results. And it also means that you see better data and more useful data in your Google Analytics account. So definitely something you want to do. You can set this up later on, but there's no reason not to do it right now as you go through the process. So I'm gonna go ahead and click get started and get this set up whilst we're going through the account, the account creation process. Now, what's happened here is that Google has worked out that because we're tracking goals, conversions within our Google Ad Analytics account, they can see that we're tracking people who have signed up for a product or service. In this case, it's, it's a lead. And then there's a URL that is brought up, a page that is brought up, confirmation page that sort of triggers that action. So that's been automatically detected and pulled through. You may or may not have that depending on how your Google Analytics account is set up. Assuming you don't have that, you can go in and set this up how you want to do. So let's say, for example, we wanted to track people that click on a Google ad, come through to our website, and then schedule an appointment. That's typically how we do generate leads for our own services. So I could select here, customers schedule an appointment, 
And then what I want to do is enter in the URL of the thank you page that people are taken to after they schedule that appointment. So for example, I could just pop in here, thank you, assuming of course that that is the right URL. And then anyone that reaches that page that is only, only loads, only shown to people once they actually go ahead and book an appointment, um, this will now be triggered as a conversion and be registered within our Google Ads account, which is really useful and is going to show us A, how our Google Ad campaigns are performing. It also B, helps us optimize the campaigns and C, it helps Google optimize the campaigns from machine learning AI setup because they can see what a good result for you looks like. So definitely something you want to quickly go through. I'm going to select apply. And then you can go ahead and do that for the other ones if they're appropriate you can come up here instead of going for leads you can instead do um, sales for a similar process but make sure you take a bit of time and get this set up as i've just shown you to do then we can go ahead and click next now what google is going to want us to do here is create that first google ad um, campaign and i understand why they do that they want us they want to sort of walk us through the process They've probably found that people are far more likely to get advertising in the first place if they do this as opposed to just getting them in the ad account and leaving them up to their own devices. But the thing is with going through this, what's called the express mode, um, when you set up a campaign, you're not able to use all the features. You're not able to sort of take the time and, and do the research and put everything you need to get the best results possible. So what I'd recommend you do is walk through this process just because Google wants you to do it and that'll help you get all set up but it's not actually the campaign that we want to run. So we're just gonna fire through this process, go with the defaults that Google has asked us, uh, the sort of suggested, um, but then what we're going to do is not run this campaign, and then once we've got our Google Ad account set up, then go ahead and create a proper campaign using all the features, making it as good as we possibly can. So they've pulled in headlines, they've pulled in descriptions. Um, I'm just gonna deselect that because I wouldn't want a call button in my ads anyway, it's not how business works. And now I'm going to click next. I encourage you to do the same. Just click next, whatever comes up. Keyword themes, absolutely fine. Click next, we can move on. And locations, it's gone with the whole of the UK. Again, fine for now, not how we'd set up. Budget, again, something that not how we'd set it up. We can just get started. And then it says review your campaign to make sure it's right. Well, we don't need to do that because this is not actually the campaign that we're going to run. So just fly through that and get that all right. Then we need to get into the billing section, the payment info. Make sure you've got your billing country selected properly. I have heard of people that run into issues where for some reason their computer defaulted to a different country and they never changed it. And then when they run into issues with their ad account or payment information, um, it can it can come up, which is, which is a bit annoying. We can see here that the offer has been successfully applied automatically, which is fantastic. So you'll receive a 400 pound credit when you spend 400 pounds. That's great. That's exactly what we, uh, what we want to, uh, to see and take uh, advantage of. Then you want to scroll down and go to this customer info section. Now, because we've got various things associated with our Google account, a lot of this information has been pulled through automatically. That may or may not happen with you. But you just want to go through, obviously, and make sure that, you know, your name and address is correct, your primary contact, all that sort of stuff. Make sure that is all correct. And then you get down into the payment section. So the way this works is Google's going to bill you automatically based on your usage. Nothing you can do about that. That's absolutely fine. And then you want to add in your payment method. So you can use PayPal as it has defaulted in here. You could also enter in a... Um, credit or debit card. You can even add in a bank account, get all of that um, set up whichever way you want to pay. Um, and then you can move on and select uh, submit and you move on to the next step. So then we come through to this page and it says, congrats, you're all done. Not technically true, but I see why they say that. I want you to go ahead and click on explore your campaign. And then remember, because we've just set up like a dummy campaign that Google wanted us to create, very important that we go ahead and turn this thing off. And the way you do that is you can see that this campaign that is created called pending, we want to go ahead and select pause campaign. Now Google is going to try and talk you out of this. Don't let them. Um, so yes, I want to pause my campaign and I want to pause it forever or until I actually resume it. I'm not going to worry about feedback for now. Then if you click on all campaigns, you come back into this window here and sort of doesn't look right. This is not the traditional Google ads window of what you'd expect to see. And that's because we are still in express mode. I do think express mode for beginners is a great way to get set up as we've just done. But what I want you to do now is go ahead and select settings and then switch to expert mode, switch to expert mode. In expert mode, we have all the features that we want to use. We have um, the sort of space and time. We're not going through a regimented process where we can add in the keywords, ads, all the things we need to get the best results possible. And even though Google wants it to make it really easy for you to get started, I actually think it's better to get started 
properly even if that takes more time because then if you get good results early on you're far more likely to go on and advertise more and and, and benefit from that and and do well as a business on this platform so this is more traditionally what you would see within a google ad um, account setup and from here we can do what we need to do so when it comes to creating google ad campaigns the right way the first thing you need to do is keyword research you need to identify the keywords that are likely to perform best for your business i show you exactly how to do that in this video here it's a full keyword tutorial and now that you've got your google ad account set up that is definitely the next step in terms of getting to a point where you've got a google ad campaign that is consistently generating lead sales etc for your business so strongly recommend you check this out